Hi, Susan here for Monday Mingle. It's the 25th today. And Monday Mingle is a mem hosted at 80 mile per hour mom. So to this week's questions are, first of all, would I go, would, it accept, would I accept an invitation for Survivor, the television show? And an emphatic no. Even if the show was for a billion dollars, I would not go anywhere near it. it. The question also asks, what would be the parts I'd hate the most about being on the show? Well, as I said, I wouldn't go on the show, but I would hate starving and being exposed to disgusting bugs. And I hate bugs. I, I, there was no way, nothing in this world could make me eat that kind of disgusting stuff that they eat. like a, just absolutely nothing. There's no way I could survive any of the crap that's on Survivor. All of the like backstabbing stuff, that would be kind of the least of my worries. Eating disgusting, scary crap and doing all those bizarre things and all the physical stamina. I mean, I just don't have that kind of physical stamina, so it's just not possible. I wouldn't win, so I wouldn't go on it. Um, anyway, so no, would not go anywhere near it. Um, the next question was, I think the next question was when and how did I learn to ride a bicycle and I believe I was around six or seven I don't remember exactly but I do have vivid memories of the green bicycle and and I think it was my father running alongside of it pushing us getting us going I'm not even sure I don't remember perhaps it was my mom and but I remember getting going and then falling into the bush <laughs> next to, uh, uh, down the sidewalk. And I, I can still feel myself landing in that bush. Um, but it's so funny because now my little girls don't, are so lucky they don't have to do any of that falling and training wheels and that stuff because we actually have balance bikes. We actually sell them um, and in, our, in our pedal car store. But anyway, so these balance bikes are great. They're little tiny bicycles that have no pedals. So the kids just naturally learn balance. So Julia never ever had training wheels. She just went from the balance bike straight to a pedal bike and just instantly knew how to ride it. It was amazing. So she didn't have to fall in the bush. Anyway, and the last question is what do we, what do I want to most have accomplished in life? And it's kind of interesting because I actually have been thinking about this whole life list, bucket list stuff lately. Um, I had read a post somewhere else that, on Elizabeth Potts Weinstein about her bucket list. And so I've been kind of thinking like, well, what would be on my bucket list? And first of all, I'm super not a list person, so I've never made a bucket list or a life list. Um, and I'm trying to sort of think of what my big accomplishments would be. And it really, it's so all about my kids. It's just crazy. I know that a lot of moms would say that. Um, and it really, really is for me. I mean, I have sort of business aspirations and goals and stuff, but really, it, I mean, the business, it really isn't that important to me. I, you know, it's, you know, for financial reasons and for whatever, da 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 da, and, and I enjoy it and personal goals and accomplishments and that type of thing. I mean, there's, I, I do have some, there, there's some value there for me, obviously, and and I it motivates me, and there's lots of stuff that motivates me in life and that is important to me. But really, at the end of the day, um, my faith is very important to me, and my family is like just really everything. It's it's phenomenal. Like my kids, it's just I can't. It's it's painfully crazy how important my kids are to me, and I'll just look at them laying in their little beds and just be like it's painful how much I love them and I think most moms feel that way but yeah so I think really my big accomplishment in life will be um, my kids loving me <laughs> and hopefully like well that kind of sounds pathetic doesn't it but I don't know that I'll have done my best to raise them and have set them off with the best best um upbringing that I can and that's certainly not to say that I think that I'm the best parent because I'll often joke around just being like I'm so not gifted in the parenting department I, I mean I love my kids more than anything but I'm definitely not like the perfect disciplinarian and like the perfect parent saying all the right things and doing all the right stuff and I mean I have put my kids I work at home but I have my I have child care and stuff too so I'm certainly not the perfect homeschooling awesome perfect parent and uh, not at all and that's not even really what I think the accomplishment for me would be. It's not about being, having been a perfect parent, but um, of having shown my kids how much that I love them and sort of getting them off with a good start, even if it's not um, like, you know, the perfect 
start, even from like homeschooled or, or whatever your definition of perfect might be. Um, anyway, but yeah, my kids really, my life accomplishment will be doing a good job as being their mom.